red, orange, yellow. Before you are the colors of the visible spectrum. But does the color you call blue actually look more like this to me? Let's find out. The question, is your red the same as mine, is one that many of us will start to ask when we think about our own experience with color. We are right to wonder about color as it is one of the most interesting examples of the conflict between internal experience and what we might call shared reality. Since we each experience color on a personal level, how do we know if it's the same for every person? Here's how it works. We all know that you can't see colors in a dark room, but when certain unabsorbed wavelengths finally do reach our eyes, it is our eyes and brain that take those wavelengths and understand them in terms of color. Before that, color doesn't exist, just bouncing light. And unlike other sensory experiences, we haven't figured out how to test that yet. So, the answer to our initial question is, nobody knows. Your red could be my red. Then again, maybe not. We both have different eyes and different brains. As a final thought, certain colors are known to evoke universal emotional responses from humans. Why is that? Blue feels calm and serene. Red, strong and energetic. This phenomenon has to do with how wavelengths have come to acquire specific meanings to our species. It's no wonder that the wavelengths associated with water evoke a different emotional response than those associated with fire. Practically speaking, it doesn't really matter if we see colors the same or not. We can both look at a blue sky or a purple sunset and experience more or less the same thing. We might not all see colors the same way, but we are all still human. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to tackle more of the world's most interesting questions every week.